The Tropicana Las Vegas is set to close on April 2, 2024, after more than 66 years in operations. The property will be demolished to make way for new $1.5 billion, 33,000 seats stadium for the Oakland Athletics, who are relocating to Las Vegas to become the city's first Major League Baseball team. The stadium is expected to open in time for 2028 season. In addition to the stadium, there are plans to develop a new resort on the remaining portion of the Tropicana site. The Tropicana has been a Las Vegas icon since its opened in 1957. Known for its Caribbean inspired decor and its role in hosting some of the biggest names in entertainment, including Elvis Presley and Dean Martin. Its legacy also includes the long-running show Revenue, Las Vegas Bages, which was quite essential as part of Las Vegas entertainment scenes for nearly 50 years. Welcome to the Tropicana Las Vegas. In today's video, we are diving into the rich history and unique charm of one of the most iconic resorts on the Las Vegas Strip. Opened in 1957, Tropicana has been a staple of Las Vegas entertainment. Blending in in tropical South Beach inspired vibe with a classic glamour of the city golden age. From hosting legendary performance to being features in famous movies, Tropicana has seen it all. Join me as uh, we explore what makes this history resort a must visit destination in the heart of Las Vegas. Let's get started. Unfortunately, the building is going down. Today is October 9, 2024 at 2 a.m. in the morning. And technically they are to some firework and farewell to say goodbye to the Tropicana building. And you guys will see two buildings, the left and the right side will be going down and explode. So let's stay with me and watch to the end. And also, We'll show you how we get here at this spot. The Tribicana projects including the demolitions of the resort to build a new stadium for the Oakland Athletics is expected to have several traffic implications as well as pros and cons for the Las Vegas area. Traffic impact pros improve infrastructures, major developments like the stadium often lead to upgrades in local in your infrastructures such as road expansions, improved traffic signals, and enhanced public transit options. This can make the area more accessible in the long run. Economic benefits leading to better transportations. With the stadium expected to draw large crowds, there may be additional investment in transportation services, including shuttles and rideshare programs to ease congestions. Cons Increased traffic congestions during a construction phase and once the stadium is open, traffic around the Tropicana site is likely to increase significantly. The Las Vegas Strip already experienced heavy traffic and adding a major sport venue could intensify these congestions, especially on game days. Event day gridlocks. Stadium events typically result in spike in traffic before and after games, which can be a challenge for local com commuters and tourists trying to navigate the area. Parking issues. Even with the planning, finding equity parking space around the stadium can be a shocker. Overflow parking often leading to congressions in surrounding streets and neighborhoods. Economy grow the project is expected to bring such essential economic benefits, including increased tourism, job recreations, and business opportunities. Las Vegas could see a boost in revenue from visitors coming to watch Major League Baseball games and other events held at the stadium. Vegas nearly businesses, including restaurants, hotels, and entertainment revenue, are likely to see a surge in customers due to the influx of sport fans and visitors. Second, Las Vegas as a sport hub. The addition of the Major League Baseball team will be solidified Las Vegas status as a major sport destination 
only home to the NFL Raiders and the NS NHL Golden Knights. The diversification in sport offering could draw even more visitors to the city. It could also encourage future investment in sport-related development in infrastructures, creating a sport and entertainment district that could reveal rival those in other major cities. Third is revitalization of the area. The project will transform the southern part of the Las Vegas Strip, giving it fresh appeal and potential, attracting new types of businesses and entertainment options. Modern developments in green spaces may be added around the stadium, making the area more pedestrian friendly and visual appealing. Meanwhile, the cons of the projects beside the pros. First is loss of history. The demolitions of the Tropicana means losing a significant piece of Las Vegas history. The resort has been a part of the city culture since 1957, hosting countless legendary performances and events. Fans of vintage Las Vegas may be disappointed to see yet another history site replaced by a more modern structures. Two descriptions during constructions. The construction phrase will likely cause noise, dust, and descriptions that could impact local businesses and tourism negatively in the short term. There may be also temporary road closer and detours would could further complicate traffic in the area. Third, high costs. With the stadiums and redevelopment projects are expected to bring economic benefits, there is also a concern about the high costs involved. If public fund or taxpayer money is used to finance the stadium, it could lead to debates over whether the investment will bring sufficient sufficient returns. There is always the risk that the projects may not generate as much. Economic impact as predicted, which could put a strain on local resources. Overall, why the Tropicana redevelopment has the potential to greatly benefit Las Vegas economy and sport landscape, it's come with significant challenges, particularly in terms of traffic congestions and a loss of historic landmark. Proper planning and investment in transportation's infrastructures will be crucial to mitigating these issues and ensuring the project's long-term success. Hey guys, Tropicana Las Vegas. This is the brief history before we driving past the strip. So Tropicana Las Vegas often simply knows that the trap 
is one of the most iconic resort on the Las Vegas Strip, with a rich, rich history that offers back to the golden era of Las Vegas. It first opened its door on April 4, 1957, during a time when the city was rapidly evolving into the entertainment capital of the world. Designed by a distinctive South Beach inspired theme, the resort quickly became famous for its tropical ambience, lush garden, and unique islands vibe, setting it apart from the owner of casino of its time. Originally envisioned by the businessman Ben Jaffel, the Tropicana was designed to offer a more relaxed and luxurious experience compared to the other busing casino. Over the years, it underwent various renovations and expansion to keep up with the changing time, while still maintaining its vintage charm. Tropicana Las Vegas has hosted countless famous performers from the golden age of Frank Sinatra and the rap back to more modern headliners. A chapter scene itself a major player in the entertainment industry. The hotel has also been featured in a numerous movie and TV shows, further cementing its status as a Las Vegas landmark. Las Vegas, the city of lights and entertainment. Las Vegas itself has a fascinating history that began in the early 20th century. Initially a small railroad town, Las Vegas saw a boom in a growth when Nevada legalized gaming in 1931. This decision transformed the city into a playground for high roller with casinos and entertainment venues popping up along Fremont Street and later along what would become the famous Las Vegas Strip. The post-World War II era marked a period of significant development with a mobster and businessman alike investing in a lavish casino and hotel that shaped the city image. Las Vegas became synonymous with least glamour and a touch of excess, attracting celebrities, tourists, all gamblers around the world. Iconic figures like Busley Siegel play a role in developing resources like a flamingo, paying the way for a new era in Las Vegas hospitality. Today, Las Vegas is known for its dazzling lights, world class entertainment, luxurious resorts, and endless nightlife. It's continuing to evolve, blending its historical roots with modern attractions, making up a top destination for millions of visitors each year. The city's transformation from a desert oasis to a global hub for tourism and entertainment is a testament to its adaptability and enduring alert. So the Tropicana Las Vegas is set to undergo significant changes, making the end of an era for this historic resort. The iconic venue, which has been a staple of Las Vegas Strip since its open in 1957, is planning a farewell event to honor its long-standing legacy. This event will celebrate the Tropicana a rich history, its legendary performance, and the countless memories made by guests over the decades. The farewell event will be a mix of nostalgia and the celebrations, featuring a live entertainment, special tributes to the resort's most memorable moments, and a look back at the Tropicana impact on the Las Vegas entertainment scenes. Whether you are a long-time fan of the Trop or just discovering its charm, this event is a chance to say goodbye to a piece of Las Vegas history at the resort prepare for its next chapter. Stay tuned for one more details on this unforgettable night.
since some of you can watch this live but today i'm gonna show you how i get there and on the way so just bear with me also would like to share with you about the entertainment legacy legacy performers over the years tropicana has hosted many legendary art acts including musicians comedians and variety performers it was a major spot for the entertainment scene during the golden age of las vegas drawing big names in the industry even until today famous shows the resort was known for its long-running Feliz big air shows a classic vegas review that kept Activated audience for nearly 50 years before closing in 9, 2009. Cultural impact. Tropicana has appeared in numerous films and TV shows such as The Godfather, Diamonds Are Forever, and Viva Las Vegas, adding it to its cultural significance. Three renovations and modernizations. Recent upgrades in the 2010s. Tropicana underwent major renovation worth over $200 million to modernize its facilities while still maintaining its history charm. This included a redesign of the casino floor, hotel rooms, and the addition of new dining and entertainment options. Current ownership at 2024, Tropicana is owned by Bally's corporations which has plans for a redevelopment that may including transforming the property while retaining some of its classic elements for hotel and casino feature accommodation the hotel offers over 1400 rooms and suite many of which have been recent renovated to a reflect a modern tropical theme rooms feature complementary design which comfort and luxury in mind Casino. Tropicana Casino feature a wide range of gaming options including slots, table games, and poker rooms. The casino layout and design have been updated to create a more vibrant and welcoming atmosphere for guests. Dine-in. There are several restaurants in the Tropicana, offering a variety of cuisine from the fine dining to casual options. Highlight include Robert Irvine Public House, a restaurant by celebrity chef Robert Irvine. Five, oh, really? Tropicana iconic oh, pool no, 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 area, a whirlwind in pool. The resort pool area is one of the standout features, often ranked among the best in Las Vegas. It features the lagoon style pool surrounded by lush landscaping, waterfalls, and private cabanas, day beds, and lounges. Guests can relax on day beds and private cabanas, enjoying poolside services that include refreshing cocktail and light bites locations and accessibility prime spot on the strip tropicana is located on the southern end of the las vegas strip making it easy accessible to other population attractions such as mgm grid new york new york and exact excalibur trepidation is central location make it convenient for guests to explore the rest of las vegas with ease including nearby monorail access future plans Redevelopment. There are ongoing discussion about the future of Tropicana, including the possibility of a complete overhaul or even a new sport stadium being built on the property. Bally Corporation has hinted at redevelopment plans that could change the look and feel of the history site while aiming to keep its, pro its spirit alive. Fun facts about the Tropicana. It was one considered the most mob-free casino in Las Vegas. Its contract to many other hotels has tied to organized crime. The hotel was filming location for the James Bond movie Diamonds Are Forever, showcasing its connection to pop culture. Over the years, Tropic Tropicana has changed hands several times with ownership groups bringing the new ideas and investment to keep the resort relevant. The Tropicana Las Vegas stand at the testament to the history, evolutions, and enduring allure of Las Vegas itself. With its rich past and promising future, it remains a significant part of the city landscape. And you heard from the beginning, they will build a $1.5 for the Oakland Athletics 
first major league baseball team here. It's also bring a lot of people gonna move here or migrate here from different city and country. If you don't know, the mob can stand for different meanings, several depending on the context, but it's most commonly used as an abbreviation for mobile or mobility in the context of organized crime. However, mob is the slang term used to refer to a criminal organization, particularly one involved in activities like extortions, racketeering, and illegal gambling. It's often referred to group by mafia or other organized crime syndicates. The term mob in this context comes from the phrase mobster, which is used to describe a member of the mafia or other organized crime groups. The word has its roots in the Latin word mobile vogus, meaning the frequent crowd in the masses, which overcome over time involved to refer to a group involved in criminal activities. Are you guys Hispanic? Yeah, yeah, we're from Texas. Yeah. We're from Texas. We're from El Paso. Mexican descent. Last, because last time they have the the Hispanic or Independent Day. Right. Oh, yes, you say it's Yeah. Yeah, the boxing, all yeah. that. It oh, was yeah, that so was packed here. It was so crazy. Yeah. Like, were, you, were you already? Oh, yeah, you already here, so you were working. Were you doing Lyft and stuff, or what were you doing? I do Lyft. I I, I kind of stopped doing Uber after the incident here. That too crazy black girl like uh, verbally abused and then they stole my stuff so they kind of look high and then rude so I didn't feel safe so I told them to leave my vehicle and then they they was like they was really aggressive and crazy and they stole my stuff so and I report to Uber they didn't do anything they really? hang up the chat so I'm like I'm not gonna drive with you guys anymore Lyft is better like nicer client and they give bonuses. Uber doesn't give anything. Really? Yeah, they pay really low. Yeah, no, like, but not only that, Uber seems like all the rates are real more, more, way more expensive on Uber. Yeah. It's like um, you can see from outside far a little bit. Hey, you own the street, <laughs> which is good. 
to this. You've seen it before. I've been <clears throat> I've been passed by that building a couple times. A couple of, like an hour and a half ago. surprised too at the airport was so empty because because I, I drive pretty much every day mm -hmm. at night time oh, or you, you work the night shift I pretty much do all day sometime and I stop doing just like do some work and then I do a lot but yeah this is unusual yeah, it seemed pretty, all the casinos seemed pretty dead tonight. Mm -hmm. We went into the wind, that was dead. We were at Fong Bloom, that was dead. Maybe that's, they choose, they decide to like, do that one, because sometimes they have to work with the city to set the day, you know? Um, they don't want to have maybe a lot of tourists that is might be dangerous so they can set the day that it's really low That no conference going on or not much of stuff uh, But there's still a couple conference here in town So but not much like more because what is more is like uh, sport events and uh, different things so sometime they might set it up with the city so they can choose the day that is not a lot of tourists so they can so where are you originally from? Vietnam. Oh, okay, cool. How old were you when you came to the United States? I came here when I was 21. Oh, 21? Oh, wow. That's cool. Nine years ago. Nope. <laughs> Maybe a little bit with my yeah. friends. Do you have uh, most of your family here or what your family is... back home? Uh, I'm, I'm the only one here. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Did you study English when you were in Vietnam before you came to the United States? Or? I hate English back then. I hate it so much. Because really? um, you have to be really wealthy to in you know, order to learn English. Okay. Um, but I can't self taught myself. Okay. We we learn but all everybody learn like really basic stuff. Uh, but if you want to really like really speak and understand you gotta actually communicate with like foreigners. But we don't have that a lot. So I pretty much go to the park and then talk to people. Okay. Yeah. You speak English pretty pretty well. That's why I was wondering if you had studied it before you came down here. But I guess you've been here for nine years, so I guess you you've done pretty good with practicing it. I think it's like even before when I lived there, I, I spoke pretty good, but I'm just not good with grammar and writing. I hate writing. Oh, okay. I hate all that. I hate like um you know all the paper theories. Yeah. I, but I speak, I can understand, and I watch Disney, and I um, kind of learn from. Oh, this we can go this far. We are really close to it now. They are not gonna have a lock in. They cannot kick. Right there, they right? cannot kick them out. You know what I mean? They already sit there. <laughs> look at all people. Oh, they're sitting there. Oh, wow, look. So how did they? They said they weren't gonna let anybody out there. Uh uh. 
they they have to say that to reduce because if you announce that it's like hey it's okay everybody gonna go there you know so they have to say it to so it's like manipulation right. for people that yeah, get scared so So there's there's people who follow the laws and people who break the laws. Right. So I'm a law breaker. <laughs> right. But I didn't know that, so that's not fair, you know. So there is the uh, Mandela Bay area next to the Four Seasons. Because the thing is, you want to drive around. Because you know, if you park right now, they're gonna kick it out. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, record earlier, so no, I know a better spot. Trust me. At Manila Bay. Manila Bay is like literally straight to the building. They kick people out from the parking lot. Oh, is that what they're doing? They said, hey, let's go. Oh, okay, yeah. See, that's what they said, that they weren't going to let none of the people. But th that's the reason why I got to keep driving around because, like, if you're driving around, they cannot right. choose that you stop for something. I'm like, you're just driving. Oh, well, you got traffic behind you. But there's it's a red a, light anyway, yeah, right? Yeah, so. <laughs> Nobody honking? That's good. No, you got a red light anyway. On the on the on the lift app, mm -hmm. can you drop us off or something like that? Because it's still, I mean, it's gonna continue to it's gonna continue to charge, isn't it? If we keep no. driving, because uh -uh. it was supposed to be dropped off that at like at the Palms, and we've like gone way past the Palms. 
I don't think. But they still there with the police. See that? <laughs> so they okay to watch? Yeah, right there you yeah. So, but the thing is, like I said, I have a better spot. There's another spot at Allegiant, uh, Allegiant Stadium. Yeah, that's that's where we we're trying to get to, but they nobody would answer because they said that they were gonna have a like a viewing party there, and uh, we couldn't uh, we couldn't get in. Uh, we couldn't get a hold of anybody. Oh, but yeah, what? we tried everything. No, especially they not they don't want to take responsibility their responsibility for that. You know? Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. In and out, I think that's a good spot. So what's your name? YT. How do you say that? Letter Y and T. YT? Yeah. Oh, YT. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my license plate. Oh, but that, yeah, because it said something about Bay and I was like, oh, YT Bay. Yeah. What is, what is the Bay? Like, Bay, right? Yeah. Before anyone else, I think that's what it stands for. Huh? It's like Bay. Yeah, Bay. So last time the one guy, he asked me, what is it? You know a babe. <laughs> I'm like, what does that even mean? <laughs> I'm like, that's so stupid. <laughs> well, this is Ricky and I'm Eddie. Oh. Eddie? Yeah, Eddie. Oh, like short for Edward? Yes. Yeah, well, there you go. That's because that's my official name. Yeah. Mm. One thing I don't like about this town is people drive really quick. People drive what? Crazy. Oh yeah, they're, they're very aggressive. But then they are like really rude, you know, they don't oh, care yeah. that you're a female or whatever. Yeah. Hey, meet them lady from. <laughs> well, <laughs> real close. She moved quick, boy. You heard that? She's like, what the hell? What? Forty-five? They do at two thirty. Yeah, two thirty. Why they said two? I found the the thing is two here. Oh, did they? They might have changed it then. No, yeah, because at the true. beginning I saw two thirty, and I went back to the website. It said two. Yeah, it said two thirty. Yeah, that's that's why I thought. Standing with the cops, that was a perfect look. That was a perfect look. You want to go back there? No, wherever you, I mean, you're the one, you know, you said you're, we're, we're going with you wherever you go. <laughs> I don't think that's a good spot. But that was a good spot where they were all parked and stuff, but I don't know where we'd be able to park the car. Mm. Well, we got time. <laughs> we got time for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, put some dust there. So some people said it's like sometimes they don't want to wash because they don't know what is in the air. Yeah. You know, it's gonna yeah. be because it's yeah, long time. Yeah, that's why they were trying. That's so what whoever is standing there is not safe for the health. I would rather in the, wash in the car yeah. with my window closed. Yeah, that's what they were saying that they that 
that's why they were trying to keep people away because of the asbestos, the cloud of asbestos that it's going to release after it's... Yeah, a long time, yeah. That's what they were worried about. There's supposed to be a big firework show and drone show after. Yeah, so they actually set the drones at Manila Bay because they oh. saw that there's like, there's like 50 of them. Oh wow, well, that's going to be cool. Yeah, because I had the conventions at Manila Bay over there and then later I done and I would pick up someone. Okay. And then there was so many drones. I was like, what is this? Just look at all those people. See that? Yeah. See that the street. Oh yeah, there's a street shot for it from right there. That's why it's a street shot. For it. Yeah, Manila Bay is a good spot. So I mean, yeah, that's see. Mandalay Bay was. Uh, we were trying to get into that um, that uh, foundation room. foundation room because they were having uh, the viewing party, but they were sold out. No. Oh. So we were kind of a little bit late on that one. This is not good view. This is too far. Yeah, it's too far. You can't even see it. No, the, uh, I actually gotta put the map. <laughs> the I'm not sure where there. I'm going. <laughs> I gotta get to that. Remember I, when I was a student back in Dallas. Oh, okay. So that is what I study. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. And COVID, I couldn't do anything with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. So it was. Yeah. So now I have a travel agency and then I wanted to do bring tourists there. Yeah. Yeah, this stadium is big. Yeah. So are you doing the, um, are you doing like on your tourist, are you doing social media? to promote your tours that like you're like I haven't done uh, I just actually finished my group tour around like a few months ago but since I just moved here I'm trying to actually learn about the markets here and kind of connect with local business owner and also like the organizations here okay because uh, I need to hire some people so uh, that's why I went to a couple networking events so I can actually meet like the Chamber of Commerce there are so many of them and then meet Chase Bay and I meet a couple organizations that can help uh, hiring people. Gotcha. Yeah, so when I'm ready at least because I need I need them to actually um, you know advertise for me so when I'm ready and then so that's why I'm waiting for the show to uh, to attend because they provide all all the resources to host the event. You know, like people try to come and set up or do some backdrop, backdrop or decorations. I need them so I can actually plan my own event and then invite people uh, come in so they can. Where is that? They can share my event. This side, which is good. See, this is another side of it. Right, right. But there's another side. People are walking, trying to figure out where they can situate themselves. Yeah. 
that's just, yeah, that's all you gotta do is stand here, man. Maybe, maybe that. Oh, that's right there. I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> Look at this red light. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Windows palm tree blocking the view. Yeah, but if you back up like a little bit back that way, mm -hmm. that, that's like a perfect view. Yeah, so no, but actually when we make a U-turn, you will see it clear. Because this straight up to that. See if you want it standing. So they actually even, you see that? They charge for people for parking over there. buildings yeah look at that wow that's crazy how the advertisement buildings are about to get destroyed what I think I can even park in here now can I make a rice to fly parking and we walk. Yeah, let's just go park inside of like the Mandalay Bay or something like that and then we'll just walk over here because we got time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. I, gotta... I actually not sure if it's uh, it's not safe outside to smell all that smoke. Well, it's, too, it's, it's far enough where I think and the wind's blowing so it's not going to be like actually when we turn and go straight a little bit yeah and then there's like I don't think anyone gonna be there but that might be too far yeah I think it's yeah. gonna be too far to be able to see both the, both the towers this part this 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 corner this right here is, yeah, yeah this is the, this is the I need to wear a mask or something <laughs> you don't have a mask no I get scared of the all the dusk I get allergies I think we're far enough from here, from over here, that I don't think you're gonna, uh, the plume is gonna go, it's gonna stay in that area. I don't think it'll, yeah. it's, it's got, if there was wind, then I would say, yeah, it'll make its way over here, but yeah. I doubt it's gonna make its way over here. It's too it's far. Just gonna sit on. Yeah, we have time to, right now too, right? Yeah, we have 30 minutes. Oh, I need to chop my phone before it's dying. Oh, yeah. 
looks like bold buildings. Crazy how they advertise them. <laughs> Buildings are about to get destroyed. What? I think I can leave them parking here now. Can I make a rice? I think I need to find parking and we walk. Yeah, <laughs> let's just go park inside of like the Mandalay Bay or something like that and then we'll just walk over here. Because we got time. To smell all that smoke. Well, it's, too, it's, it's far enough where I think, and the wind's blowing, so it's not gonna be like. Yeah, that would be perfect if we could find parking. Yeah, let's just find parking and then walk out here. So it's actually when we turn and go straight a little bit, yeah. and then there's like, I don't think anyone going to be there. But that might be too far. Yeah, I think it's going to be too far to be able to see both the, both the towers. This, part, this, this, this corner right here. Yeah. yeah this is the, this is the I need to wear a mask or something. <laughs> you don't have a mask? No. I get scared of the, the, all the dusk. I get allergies. I think we're far enough from here, from over here, that I don't think you're gonna, I, the plume is gonna go, it's gonna stay in that area. I don't think it'll, yeah. it's, it's got, if there was wind, then I would say, yeah, it'll make its way over here, but yeah. I doubt it's gonna make its way over here. It's too it's just gonna settle. Yeah, we have time to, right now too, right? Yeah, we have 30 minutes. Oh, I need to chop my phone before it's dying. There's a rooftop up here. Oh, they do. They do have the rooftop. Oh, yeah. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh, boy. This will be the best.
Right now, 2.25 a.m. on October 9, 2024. Good spot, right? Yeah.